This video is all about Jaffna, one of the most historic places in Sri Lanka, known for a lot of sad events, especially Sri Lankan civil war. And that is what we're going to talk about in this video. We are going to explore Jaffna in the whole, talk about food, the culture, the civil war and important places to see when you are in Jaffna. I just reached Jaffna this evening and uh, I had no plans. Jaffna is famously known for a lot of Indian culture food, especially food from Kerala and Tamil Nadu, mostly Tamil Nadu. And that's the only thing that I want to try right now. So there are a lot of misconceptions when it comes to uh, Jaffna. Yes, it has a lot of uh, bad part of history, Sri Lankan civil war, but I don't know. This is my complaint regarding Sri Lankan tourism. Yes, the entire country is dependent on tourism right now, but I don't know why they're not even promoting the northern regions, be it uh, Jaffna, be it Trikonomali. I don't know why. Since I'm a foreigner to this land, I can get a lot of buses and trains from Colombo, but I don't see such things happening to places like Jaffna and uh, especially the Tamil populated regions. I don't know whether the Sri Lankan government is doing it consciously or maybe there are a lot of other political reasons. But as of now, Jaffna is not even target for the tourism and only few people who want to understand the other culture will come to Jaffna. That's one thing that Sri Lankan government has to change right now and uh, not just in Jaffna, all the regions because I hear more than Jaffna, there's a place called Manar, which is almost like an island and you can see India right away from there and it's a beautiful place, there are a lot of small islands over there, still it's not target for tourism. So uh, I just came to the Hindu temple, it's called Nallur Kattaswami, it's one of the most uh, oldest important temples in Jaffna and like the whole concept that we have in South India, not just in South India, even in other parts of India, you can't wear your top. I can't understand the whole concept of not wearing a top and going to a temple. Maybe it's all the religious beliefs but I ignored it. So I didn't go inside but if you're so religious, this is a good spot for you. And it's a Murugan temple, so Murugan is one of the important gods of Tamil history. One thing you ought to notice from Jaffna regarding a Tamil. I'm a Tamilian, I'm from Tamil Nadu and my Tamil, it's culturally mixed with a lot of English words and I don't see myself being a pure Tamilian but over here, the Tamil language that people speak, it's more of pure and a lot of words that they use are derived from the old ancient Tamil. So. When compared to speaking Tamil in Jaffna, when compared to Tamil Nadu, I feel Jaffna has the more purest form of Tamil. That way, I feel the Tamil that we speak in Tamil Nadu has toned down a bit, which is a bad thing when it comes to the whole cultural point of view.
If you are someone who loves to eat food, yes, of course, Sri Lanka has a different cuisine when compared to Indian one. But there are a lot of places that you got to visit. Especially in Jaffna, there's a place for ice cream. I read in a lot of reviews. It's called Rio Ice Cream, and apparently, lot of people here, and not just locals, even tourists say the ice cream is so good over here. So, if you want to go to the temple, we'll have a walk a bit. Maybe just find the meters, and there you go. This is a famous ice cream spot in Jaffna, and honestly speaking, when you're in Jaffna, the whole heat makes you crave for ice cream. So yeah, this is one of the checklists that I had when I came to Jaffna. This place looks fancy, so I better hope they have a good quality of ice cream. Fun fact, if you are someone just like me who wanted to see all the ruins in Sri Lankan civil war, all the old buildings, all the uh, bunkers, no, it's fully developed right now, just like a normal city. And of course, all those old buildings which got destroyed during civil war has been changed to a lot of good apartments here. So if you want to experience those things, you have to go to the interior side called Kilinochi. But over here in Jaffna, no, you just see normal modern buildings and that's about it. This is not a tourist spot, but if you want to know the real culture and uh, the history of uh, Sri Lankan civil war, one of the important places to note is a public library, Yal Panam Public Library. It is not just a library because there's a huge story behind it. Library is such a majestic structure, like you know, during 1950s and 1940s, before the pre-independence uh, era in uh, Sri Lanka, lot of Tamil research books were there, and all of a sudden, during the emerging phase of civil war, uh, few policemen, along with a uh, lot of locals, burned down the entire library. And trust me, now you don't even see you know, a single percent of that whole ruins here, but it was one of the most iconic moments during civil war. And I mean, if I'm not wrong, this is one of the major uh, starting points of the entire war so yes this library was burned down all the research books tamil literature like uh, the connection between sri lankan tamil to the indian tamil all the research works were burned down i've read a book called fahrenheit 421 it's a dystopian novel based on a place where people burned on books because they feel the knowledge shared is a uh, much more criminal than a lot of crimes they do at that time so and I can relate that to burning down this library because I feel both have the same uh, similar situations but yes this is not a tourist spot but if you want to know more about the whole civil war the whole culture of uh, Sri Lankan Tamils this is a good place to see
is when I say this, like, I don't know, my, I might be controversial or my statements might not be true. Maybe I'm generalizing, but I feel the people in Jaffna, especially the Tamils, are really judgmental. I mean, no offense. I'm a Tamilian. I am more or less the same when compared to all the people here, but the way they look at me, I can see they're judging me. Just because I'm speaking in English, just because my cap is there, I think I'm a tourist, but yes, I do feel a lot of people judge here. And honestly speaking, I didn't find that in a lot of other parts of Sri Lanka. And that is one disappointment that I have in Jaffna. Really the people, or maybe I'm generalizing the fact that all are the same because of course, there are a lot of people who are really friendly here. The hotel guy, he's really friendly. But on a very shallow level, I see a lot of people judging you based on what you wear and who you are.